in this video, I nuke Vietnam, War Thunder literally puts me in hospital, and in this intro, I kill more planes than tanks. Tunisia again, but three cap. I'm excited for this one because we might have to defend ourselves from jets and helicopters. It's the props I've used right now that I really like want to use, right? I just got hit by Ari. I need to, I need to wait till he fires. Oh my god, dude, I almost died three times already. Oh, do you, do you hear what I hear? Where are you, big man? My shells were uh, still alive. My shells are proxy fusing on his rockets. Oh, here, here we go. You know, another guy coming here too. Oh, that's unfortunate there, dude. I, I sounded. I, I said I just wanted to shoot a couple of things with proxy fuses, and I've got paid actors as usual. I'm sending you our five dollars through PayPal, by the way. <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> we didn't need the proxies. Did I knock this tail clean off? Yeah, get rigged for a brother. <laughs> so close, dude. Got his tail as well, but not all of it. Who needs proxy fuses when you're odd, boys? Ah, I missed him. Oh, that, that, that time. He's dead. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Beagle Panzer 57 along with the G91 R3 and in this video, yes, I do get a nuke on Vietnam. I've always wanted to nuke it. It's actually the second time I've done it this week. Now, where has Audubon been the past two weeks? Well, number one, eh, not very well to be honest. Eh, I have had this heart issue thing you probably heard about a couple of months ago. A little bit over that now. It's been about the past six months it's been giving me issues. And the reason it's bad is I have terrible acid reflux, which I didn't know about, that's undiagnosed, and it's been giving me esophageal spasms, which kind of feel a little bit like a heart attack. It sucks, it's really painful, and it gets worse when I lie down, which means that I've not been sleeping well, and it's been giving me a bad temper. So, no videos because of that. It's hard to do, especially when War Thunder sounds been so buggy, basically. I've had a bad temper playing War Thunder. Not enjoying myself, so no videos. But now we're back. Speaking of War Thunder's bad sounds, there's a work in progress client that you can download right now and play War Thunder as normal with all your friends, with all these people who are queuing for battles right now. All you have to do is, if you have the launcher, click on the work in, pro the work in progress client update checkmark box and you can just download it and play the game as you normally would with the new updated sounds that hopefully will be introduced. There's a few wee bugs here and there so make sure you leave your feedback and any bugs on Gaijin's bug website. And if you're on Steam don't worry you can still play it without that launcher too. All you have to do is go to your Steam library specifically, click on War Thunder on the Steam library to launch it and then it will give you a drop down box. Select the section option which is something like play with updates, it will then launch the launcher and then click on the same box and go to plane. You will be able to hear enemy tank engines about 75% of the time instead of 50% of the time. It's a little bit of an improvement. It's much better in my opinion and I've actually been enjoying myself playing War Thunder just because I can hear things so much better. Also, you won't be deafened completely by artillery and you won't be deafened completely by props in the air too. Airplanes. They're no longer ear burstingly loud, which is very, very good. Check it out, leave your feedback make War Thunder better again. It's up to you, the players, to get these changes in place and not just me. Get it done. Anyway, enough about the sounds. You guys are probably all here to watch me blow one of the worst maps in War Thunder to Kingdom Come. And I can't wait to show you either. Let's get into battle. Right, we got v Vietnam, dude. God. What a day, right? Is it just swimming vehicles that can get across here? It looks shallow enough for me, right? Maybe not, we'll see. I don't really care about drowning. Just like in real life. This is where all the cheeky players come to spawn camp, everybody. And we've saved ourselves exactly three seconds. There's somebody on sea already. I actually captured it, even. I don't know if that was me, like what side I would drive off, right? I'd probably go back the way. Our team's getting booty pounded by IFVs. There's so much area to look at 
when you come out here. <laughs> but on our side of the map, it's all like lots of bits of cover for the enemy to push. On this side, not so much, right? Not ideal at all. I think I just spotted an enemy here. Probably could have just cannoned him, but I don't want to take the risk. We're on C. I'm pushing up by B. There's a strong chance this guy gets a plane, right? Comes for me. We just need to be ready with our proxy fuses because we can defend ourselves no problem with those. Nothing there. There's, an, there's actually an enemy near me because I started loading in a skin. I find it really weird when a jet spawns in and plays the prop noise though. Still quite happy chilling here. We got two caps. Is it, what's he got? Bombs or what? Where'd that missile come from? A helicopter? And that was a missile that just got lobbed as well. Should do it, right? Wait, 10 shells what we got there. And I don't know what the thing was behind me. Still alive. Is it a Type 93? Helicopters are really survivable, right? That must be a Type 93. I wonder if he just drove right off the back of the map. Just to kind of hide. Well, he's finally dead. Luckily that guy crashed into something so it was easy to see. Wait, where are you little guy? He probably just sent his spawn. You never get an A. A dardo just killed my friend. He's still there. God, I think the dart will just find me. Oh, commander. I shouldn't be winning a fight against the dart though. He just smoked up. I've got 27 shells left. Did the ESS or was it actually smoke? It's about to clear up. I legitimately can't see him. Right. I actually never heard that guy, but it was just a good guess. Here comes the Dardo. He's gone full heat mode, look. Right. They're on sea again. 
I need to kind of push the B bit now. I've only got 14 rounds left. I think, I think it might be that Type 693 or whatever the hell it was that's on the sea. Who is, by all intents and purposes, uh, completely harmless to me. I think I'm going to get murdered by a BMD4, do you know that? What am I hearing here? That's... That's what I'm hearing. It's my Migo... My Beagle's fighting somebody here. A Type 89, which is terrifying. Luckily, he's scouted, right? Got on vertical cannon drive? That's pretty decent. We will take that. My, what am I hearing here? You got me scared, right? This lad. He's definitely going to repair before I can get him. Okay, thank you, Gepard. Right, ni nine rounds left. <laughs> nine rounds. I definitely need to cap this. The problem with me capping this, right, is that uh, I have no smoke. That's my Gapard coming to save me. What an absolute lad. What it is, dude. As long as he stops firing at us, I'm happy. Never mind, it's dead. Never mind. Well, the jet's dead, but it's us. And I think it's still... I think it's still a Type 89 over that way. Sorry, 93. I can't, I can't imagine anything else launching Sam's. Maybe I should go to sea. Like this way. Like the, the scariest way to go, right? Or the stupidest way. I, um, I actually pooped my pants a wee bit. An object 279 is going to A. No. You defend the A point. I'm getting arty here. How do you know? Is this the... Troll type 93 probably. Oh crap. Hey, come on, gunner. Friendly jet? Who's oh, that Saddam? No, a Saddam killed my teammate. Oh my god, dude, this game is. This match is totally bizarre. Can I cross this? Barely. And now I gotta get there fast right because ticket bleed starts to go. Super quick, late game. Even if I decap before I die, right, I'm happy. 
Is there anybody hiding here? I'm about to find out. Well, Attention to the map. we're still alive for now. I can't reach that enemy with Arte. The object 279 is now pushing B. Is that is my squad mate gonna get on that cap? I can hear a prop. Or or is it a prop? Helicopter maybe? The class 3P is just sitting there doing nothing as well. Another zone right, This is weird. The sound is also like pretty bonkers, right? Is that a helicopter? So I got him crit, but I don't know if he's gonna die. If he dies, I know what we're doing. We're doing it right now, actually. Let's go. This Type 93 better not kill me. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. We got him. We got him. We're also getting A back. This is uh, a big, a big old chungus. This thing. An fifty two. Right, come on, big guy. Off you get. I don't think we're gonna make this. You know that. I don't think we're gonna make this. Low and fast. Let's go. Second time I've got a nook on Vietnam. Second time. The Type 93 is dead. The Type 93 is dead. Come on, Jag. Come on, Jag. Nice and low. Right over the sea cap, right? Bomb's off. Let's go. Bomb is out, dude. <laughs> yes. That's the stuff. F you, Vietnam. <laughs> F you, dude. GG. Holy smokes. That's the coolest map to nuke, I think. Look at that shockwave. Look at that shockwave. GG. Oh. Scary. We screenshot there for the Discord. There we go. Not very many silver lines for a nick, right? Yeah, uh, GG. GG didn't. GG, I don't know why. Well done. Thank you guys for coming to hang out today. I've always wanted to nuke Vietnam. I've got another one coming actually in the T20 very shortly as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Once I'm starting to feel a little bit better through the, the days, hey, I'll get back to doing some of the cinematic stuff. But even just talking right now is hurting me. My throat and my mouth is all burnt from, uh, well, stomach acid basically is what it is. Uh, it really sucks. Uh, I'm glad that this thing finally got diagnosed and we got to the root cause of what's causing the heart palpitation things. It's not my heart, it's actually just my esophagus having a spasm, uh, but it's equally as painful and very frustrating to live with. So hopefully you get this right dosage for medicine and I'll be right as rain. Fingers crossed. As always, I'd really like to thank everyone who's supporting me over on Patreon and on Discord as well. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. And all the tier 3 people who get a shout out from Discord and Patreon. On Discord, that's Illustrious, Shadow Wolf, Gifted Greed, Millie Mills, Stoyan, and The Reformation. And for Patreon, that's all the tier 3s are Bilka the Tactical Broccoli, Matthew S, Jesse Mills, The Tago Guy, Toast McGee, Anders Stormwind, Archangel Ari, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Charles D, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gifted Greed, Handsome Tortilla, John Grub, 
Justin Darling, Kane, Nissel Lord, Ralph, Rage, Ryan, Tagtonic, The Fire Piper, The Reformation, Trash Panda, Varian, Zema, Yogbo, Shaf, Mortan, and Stoyan, Whistlebrift, J Tormy, Mr. Buzzwell, Shmoo, and Stuart Netherton. There's, there's so many people there. Thank you guys very much for supporting me there. Um, we'll get to do the ARL 44 video to end the Diddy Fletcher series, hopefully within a week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you guys there. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.